Formula One had, over the years, been used as a proving and development ground for highly advanced automotive technologies. The racetrack, therefore, is more than merely a competition of speed. It is a testing ground for innovation. It would suffice to say that the breakthroughs made in the high-pressure world of Formula One racing have directly affected the development of the automobiles we drive daily today. The Formula One racing series has had an indelible impact on the automotive industry, as it has transformed how automobiles are designed, engineered, and driven. This has been obtained in terms of performance and efficiency related to fuel, in addition to steering and handling improvement. Several areas have been important where F1 has made contributions to the design of modern automobiles, one of the most important of which is aerodynamics. In Formula One, aerodynamics is very crucial to maintaining speed while ensuring stability, especially while racing at a speed of more than 200 miles per hour. Engineers have developed many systems ranging from front and rear wings to diffusers and complex air ducts, all of which reduce drag-drag downforce as much as possible. It is imperative to follow this principle if one is going to stay in touch with the ground but at the same time reduce resistance levels, through which the vehicle reaches higher speeds but more efficiently. The ability to understand the dynamics of airflow has been infused into designs pertaining to transportable vehicles, especially models that are performance-oriented and those that consume less fuel. Car makers and designers today apply the same principles to sports cars like today's Porsche 911 model to reduce its stability and handling during high-speed velocities. Even family sedans and electric vehicles are designed aerodynamically because reducing drag improves fuel economy, and it is the main aim of modern automakers who are trying to meet strict environmental requirements. This has been one further crucial point where Formula One has made a difference. It is as regards the utilization of lightweight materials. One of the first technologies that the Formula One teams researched as they looked towards higher speeds and better performance was carbon fiber, which imparts tremendous strength while weighing much lighter than steel or aluminium. In fact, performance for Formula One teams could improve dramatically if the cars were able to be lighter without losing their safety. Carbon fiber, once the realm of high-performance race cars, has reached luxuries in sports cars such as the McLaren 720S and, of course, its more affordable brethren. Carbon fiber, aluminium, and high-strength steel are all parts used in building many modern cars. This sort of materials combination entails an increased handling and fuel efficiency. This trend is especially important as automobile manufacturers strive to build electrical vehicles, where every saved kilogram can expand the driving range by one kilogram. It is worthy of note that hybrid powertrains introduced in Formula One in the recent past have assisted in further technology development as related to road cars. The push toward hybrid engines by Formula One, mixing conventional internal combustion engines with electric motors provided by energy recovery systems, has been affected in its development of hybrid and electric vehicles. In Formula One, there are capturing devices that can catch otherwise lost energy during braking and coasting in order to convert it into usable power. There are such systems such as Kinetic Energy Recovery System KIRs, as well as an Advanced Energy Recovery System ERs. This also leads to fuel efficiency improvement besides performance enhancement. This concept has been adapted for use in consumer cars, especially with the advancement of regenerative braking technologies that have come into use in hybrid and electric vehicles, such as the Tesla Model 3 and the Toyota Prius. The capture and reuse of energy now form a crucial part of the ability to make modern cars more efficient. This enables the reduction of fuel consumption and increases the driving range for electric vehicles. Safety is among the areas that Formula One has marvelously progressed. Results from the dangers that go with racing at high speeds see safety always on the front row in Formula One. Therefore, all of these safety technologies that have proven to be effective are found on tracks and have since migrated into commonly used cars. The most common example is the car's crumple zone, which was designed to protect the driver from a collision by absorbing the energy resulting from that collision. This principle has been incorporated into the design of modern automobiles and most automobiles are constructed with crumple zones built into them. These zones absorb energy from impacts, which therefore reduces the likelihood of the occupants inside the car sustaining injuries. The Hayans device in Formula One also brought an improvement in seatbelt systems and head restraints in general used cars. All these developments have significantly reduced the incidences of neck injuries and whiplash in a crash. Additionally, Formula One has been a veritable tool in the development of real-time monitoring systems for data, which have been highly instrumental in improving safety levels of both racing and road vehicles. From tire wear to engine temperature, everything related to a car's performance is monitored directly in real time by competing Formula One teams with an extremely advanced telemetry. Available multiple data now enable engineers to fine-tune and further improve vehicle performance. But the same information has been involved in developing present safety and driver assistance technologies. 
Many of the cars that are presently playing roads possess ADAs. These include several sensors and cameras and will be able to assist an automobilist in avoiding car accidents. Such systems include traction control, tire pressure monitoring system, and traction control. These technologies from Formula One are basically direct precursors of system components found in the most modern automobiles, including autonomous emergency braking and lane-keeping aid. Another innovation introduced by Formula One into the automotive world has to do with active suspension systems. The main purpose of these designs is to enhance the handling of the vehicle through the alteration of its suspension in accordance with the track conditions. Their first appearance was in the world of Formula One in the 1980s. Due to this technology, it has been made possible for automobiles to maintain their tires in perfect contact with the ground, thus making stability and performance better. Although the fuel used in Formula One machines is specifically formulated for maximum performance, Concern to get every last drop out of a tank has spurred improvement in the formulation of fuel blends and lubricants to provide even better efficiency for consumer automobiles. And finally, the requirement to maintain a tight control of the amount of fuel used by Formula One machines has prompted the development of turbocharged engines. These engines allow smaller engines to produce more power by pumping in more air into the combustion chamber. In modern cars, turbocharged engines are used to boost their performance while decreasing their fuel usage. For this reason, it has been embraced in the car industry. Due to this, automobiles have been able to develop a higher level of power while decreasing pollution, which is supposed to be offered both by vehicle users and the environment. F1 has led to impacts not only on personal technology but also on the production of cars, more so in using complex stimulation tools. In particular, teams for Formula One rely so much on computer simulations even before their physical prototypes to model how their cars would eventually perform and extend those ideas further. The method allows the engineers to save time and money since they can test various configurations, explore new ideas, and change things virtually. It is owing to the ineluctable pursuit of performance and efficiency that innovations produced in the sphere of Formula One racing have reached the mainstream automotive industry. These advancements are changing the way automobiles are designed and constructed and even experienced. The effects of Formula One technology will continue to play a significant role in the future of transportation, given that the automotive environment is in constant mutation, especially with the advance of electric and autonomous vehicles. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.